Aloha everyone, this is Stephanie with The Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your Twin Flame Tuesday Pick a Card. So this is for those of you that resonate with a Twin Flame relationship. We're going to look into what is your person thinking, next actions, just whatever spirit would like to tell you. Um, take your time to choose your card. Pile 1 is on the left, pile 2 in the middle, pile 3 is on the right. If you need to pause the video, please do. And then the timestamps will be in the description box below. Aloha Pile 1. This is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your Twin Flame Tuesday. So regardless of when you're watching this, this is a um, timeless message. But on Tuesdays, I'm going to do Twin Flame readings and just look at um, how your person's thinking and feeling about you, what the possible next steps are to you, etc. Um, before we get started, I want to say thank you. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you for hitting that bell button. All those things help my channel to grow and expand, so I'm so, so grateful. As well as thank you to those who have donated. I so appreciate that. I'm working on some additions to the channel for um, bedtime stories and um, meditations and so those donations do help so I can provide that for you as well as thank you so much for those who have commented that helps tremendously and um, I love engaging with you guys okay I do have a couple of announcements one um, uh, I am doing a contest for the month of April, free to enter, free to win for a 30 minute session with me personally. Um, that's a $175 value. So you can catch that at the end of the video as some are here for the message, not for the contest. I'll let you know how to enter at the end. As well as those of you who are looking for um, private readings with me or energy clearing sessions or subconscious change sessions, I have a couple of options that I've posted. Um, so first off, for those that don't need to speak to me um, live on the phone, I have an option, the Etsy link is below, where you can ask up to three questions. I video record the reading and then give you your own private um, uh, YouTube recording. That's excellent, you can go back, look at it, um, and watch that in your leisure time. And that is a little more of affordable option, as well as, um, I do have sessions that are live with me personally, either a phone call or Zoom call, and you can email me about that. So that's for uh, on the phone, tarot sessions, uh, mentorship, and one-to-one -one, um, change work sessions as well, That where we do subconscious change and energy alignment. So lots of options for you guys to connect with me. Um, and so let's get to it, all right? So pile one for your twin flame story here. We have the runes. This is called the Runic Odyssey Oracle. It's really beautiful. This was a um, donation from Michelle, if she's watching. So really beautiful. These cards are phenomenally gorgeous. <laughs> okay. So here we go. And then we also have the Heavenly Bodies Astrology deck that we're using as well. All right, we have protection starting off. Um, so this is protection or shield. Um, this energy, so your twin flame and you may be in separation at the, at the current time. Um, they're giving me two messages with that. So with the separation, this is for your protection um, to work through some of the energies before you come back into union. The other thing that Spirit's saying is that this particular relationship is protected by Spirit. So even if you're not in communications, your angels, your guides, um, both of y'all's teams are making sure to keep that red thread of, um, of bond together for the both of you so that you can learn your lessons as you might be a part of this moment or just starting to communicate again. Um, but they're saying that this union is under protection, that you are here to move together um, and be one, okay? So this is indicating that this particular twin flame energy, because twin flame is an energy, not a specific person. Sometimes people get really confused by that and they keep up with someone who 
uh, is toxic or otherwise someone who's super toxic to you is not your twin flame okay the twin flame energy is here to bring you into oneness with yourself okay so it does open you up to certain triggers and other things but then you come into that universal love that's the role of the twin flame relationship is to bring you back into wholeness and universal love you don't have to be romantically involved with your twin flame some twin flames are family members or sisters sisters or best friends that come together okay so most people think of twin flame energy as being um a romantic partnership okay where i feel like most of you watching this is involved in a romantic partnership but i just wanted to reiterate there because there's a lot of information on the on the web right now about twin flames it's become pretty um secular or popular i guess you could say and there's a lot of misinformation out there as well so you gauge your relationship and um see if it's leading you to growth okay so right now what spirit's saying is that you are protected and this relationship's protected to move forward we have capricorn and aries here so you might be capricorn or your person um, or have aries in your chart as well okay um this is essentially um Capricorn energy is ruled by Saturn. You have ambition here. This is methodical steps. We have Aries, independence, bravery, and passion. And we have realism here with the Capricorn energy. I love this combination. Um, traditionally, astrologically, not the best combination for romance. But these energies were, um, if you're watching at the the time that this is being uh, um, uploaded, okay, it is Aries season right now. So this is saying that this relationship is to come into the manifest reality, okay? Um, it is to come into form, not just in the 5D. That's beautiful energy. It's going to be step-by-step -step process. Both of you are learning independence. Both of you are learning bravery. Um, there's plenty of passion and fire in this. And Aries season is the beginning of the astrological um year okay for western astrology so there is lots of life force energy available to you and available to this connection okay so what i'm finding is that um while you guys might be a bit separated in this particular moment that you are going to come back together relatively soon so from the time watching this you will have um, a union because spirit's saying this is protected you are safe to move forward with your person all right both of you uh, may have been focusing on your careers at this time or getting yourself into alignment all right both of you are very independent ambitious spirits you're both um you're not just going to roll over and um lose yourself in a relationship so i feel like that's part of some of the triggering or why you may have separated in the first place um because you both want to maintain your independence while merging together and this reminds me of the rune of partnership since we are doing runes okay the rune of partnership says you know don't dissolve or collapse yourself into the union rather allow the winds of heaven to dance between you and that's going to work really well for this pairing because you're both individually powerhouses and together um, you will be major powerhouses because this union is not just for you. This union, Spirit's telling me, is going to um, positively affect other people. This union is going to bring into harmony um, a lot of other twin flames it's going to bring into harmony like you guys are the forerunners of your particular group okay so um spirit saying this is a very protected union because even before i shuffle we have the ten of pentacles at the bottom of the deck ten of pentacles i love because ten of pentacles says uh, not only do you have your love needs taken care of, but you have your financial resources taken care of. This is the tree of life. So it's a happy family. 
happy life. Look at everybody getting along together. Some of you might have blended families, so you're needing to bring together not just the two of you, but you might have children from separate relationships that are going to be blending together. And spirit saying that is um, in the works and it's protected to do so. Okay, let's go a little deeper. What's your person thinking and feeling? What do we need to know, Spirit, about this particular twin flame union? It does feel like for the majority of you that are asking, oh, we've got cards flying here, that the majority of, majority of you that are asking about the twin flame, that this is a romantic style of partnership, okay? Um, that it is meant for you guys to come together into union. Um, but we are working on some things right now, okay? Also, they're saying to me, this is not going to be for everyone, but when you reunite with your person, if you're not looking to um, have a physical human child, use protection, okay? That's a very specific message for a small portion of you, um, but it's showing that your energies are intense and passionate as well as um, you have um, your f fertile energy at this time. Okay, cool. So beautiful. The energies that we have right now, we have Knight of Wands in the Moon. So the this is recent past. So it may have been that this person uh was a fling or friends with benefits you never really came into union yet as a proper couple lots of passion but it's almost like this is that in and out energy swiftly in swiftly out that push pull and we have the moon energy which is feelings hiding behind the surface it is intuition okay so i feel like whoever is the feminine energy the more feminine energy um immediately knew that this was a twin flame connection more than likely you're the one watching this video because you felt into that your person may not have recognized that immediately right um i feel like they're starting to they're starting to see that at this time um but it does feel like there's something different about your energy. That's why they keep coming in and out, okay? The passion is there. They very much see you, male or female matters not. They see you in this Queen of Pentacles energy. Queen of Pentacles is the philanthropist. She is generous. She is kind. This is pre-empress energy. This is Taurus energy. So very sensual, sensational. Um beautiful okay physically like whether you're male or female you're physically beautiful okay whether you feel like that or not your person sees you as gorgeous and they're strongly physically attracted to you but pentacles rule values and currency they love your energy and they love that you are a person of high value now i will say that they have been blinded about the nature of your relationship i feel like it went something like this where you were like i'm having these feelings this is what type of relationship it is you may have really kind of spilled the beans on the fact that it that it felt like twin flame um you really like kind of uh let them know what you were feeling or hinted at it in a certain way um, but they feel like they were blinded about that that they were not quite in balance and um that they may have left or ghosted because it feels like they left abrupt abruptly with this knight of wands energy um because they felt like they needed to protect themselves because there was an intensity in this energy that scared them that they were going to lose their independence in some way because they were feeling all of these emotional feelings for you okay but what it's showing is that behind the scenes here they are laying down their burdens you're laying down your burdens i feel like if you haven't already started talking to them again you're about to okay because what spirit's showing me is that you guys are like right here and so the time of separation that kind of in and out energy is coming to a close you're both laying down your burdens and saying i will be loved i will be treated sacredly you're protecting your heart in the most beautiful way by being loving but by 
allowing yourself to be loved and your person is recognizing that you are soulmates they may be doing a little bit of reminiscing right now so while they may have been a playboy or playgirl when you first met or a situationship friends with benefits even though you knew the nature of the relationship they're just now figuring it out they're like whoa pile one is really different than anyone else that i've been with and i'm admiring them and i feel like i've known them from a previous life and no one else compares the feelings and sensations that i had and the passion that i had with pile one they no one else compares period okay and they're noticing that and so they are um really coming into balance with themselves so you have this divine pairing here the king and queen of pentacles pentacles energy is long lasting because it goes with values the king of pentacles is the king of diamonds in the destiny cards which has really good marriage karma your person may be an entrepreneur or they're delving into that they're wanting to get their themselves straight so that they can offer you a long-term offer and be your equal partner okay capricorn aries both of you are independent both of you may have your own businesses they want you they want to match your energy okay the pentacles rule um not just inner like currency okay it's values and currency currency as in money but also currency as an energy what we give back and forth to each other they're coming in as an equal partner so whatever like they have moved from knight of wands playboy playgirl energy to the king of pentacles mature business owner husband or wife you know like the ma the divine masculine in a committed partnership and um solid solid values so where there may have been some energy uh oh sorry queen of pentacles is capricorn energy king of pentacles is taurus energy okay so capricorn showing up here twice so heavy on the earth signs we do have fire here um and then we have strength so you guys you have shown them you have had your own personal strength and you have shown them how strong they are this is leo energy so you could have leo in your chart somewhere or they could and then we have six of wands so their action towards you they're gonna come and recognize you so this is harmony sixes have to do you have two sixes in your readings which has to do with harmony um, unconditional love um, union um, coming together in a recognized and happy way this is about recognition so where your person may have been denying you before being hidden behind the shadows not really wanting to see what this relationship was um they realize there's no one else on earth like you pile one and they're like whoa i have to do something about it and they're coming to give you a mature offer they're coming to give you this will lead to a marriage union okay they're coming to give you the real offer the real deal after a lot of push pull back and forth um, they recognize that they were immature before insecure but they have developed their strength as well as you have developed your strength so you won't accept anything less than maturity from them at this point where before they could get away with coming in and out but now you're like no i deserve the best and because of that they're now going to show up differently so i'm loving that for you let's get one whispers of love card to close out your reading with an advice from spirit but really beautiful your person's coming back to you beautiful it says back to what you love reevaluate your desires all right so where you may have been sad because they weren't in your life they're saying go back to what you love um remember what you love about them not the past energy let it be new also um again it's that partnership room don't dissolve yourself into the relationship when they come back you stay loving what you love and doing what you're doing and we have miracles and blessings everything has its gift okay even the separation time had its gift because you will see how they have matured you will see how they have um how they have come into a whole new set of values and it's going to feel like miracle and a blessing to you so let it be new love what you love 
do what you love don't collapse yourself into the union stay strong this is the long-term one for you okay so thank you guys so much and i'm going to close it there thank you for liking sharing subscribing those of you who would like to enter the um, contest it's free to enter free to win here's how you do it you become a subscriber so if you haven't yet subscribe and hit the bell button like and share this video and then in the description in the comment section below write miracles and that lets me know that you want to be entered into the drawing may 1st i will do that on uh, a video and draw and announce the winner hopefully it is you so thank you guys so much till next time aloha pile two this is stephanie with the whispering dragonfly coming to you with your twin flame tuesday having a look at the twin flame union um so if you uh, are unsure what twin flames are or need to know about that energy I want to remind everyone that twin flame is an energy not necessarily a specific person so staying in anything toxic or um, inappropriate for the sake of twin flame um, that is not correct on this energy this energy is to bring you into union with universal love it's to bring you back to yourself as well as then um, showing that that which is within is also without okay as above so below okay so that's my rant on that there's a lot of information these days on twin flame and a lot of misinformation at times so i want you guys to um stay protected and loved in your situations okay and so um before we get started i just want to say thank you thank you for liking sharing subscribing thank you for hitting that bell button all those things help my channel to grow and expand as well as uh thank you for those who have donated i'm working on some fun things for the channel some playlist um of bedtime stories and um affirmations that I would like to add. And so um, the donation has have been very helpful, okay? So thank you for that. And then for those of you who comment, I very much appreciate that. I love engaging with you. YouTube likes it, so let's keep that up. Uh, I am doing a contest, free to enter, free to win, for the month of April for a 30 minute session with me personally. That is a $175 value. And so I will let you know at the end of the video how to enter the contest, as some are here for the message and not for the contest as well as if you would like a personal reading with me i have listed the options below um, i have the etsy link for a filmed reading that's personal to you of up to th three questions as well as i do have some spots coming available for um, live phone or zoom sessions with me that are subconscious change more about energy alignment and getting you to your outcome and goal more quickly okay so you can look that up if that interests you okay beautiful all right pile two they want one more of the rune cards so we're starting with the uh, runic odyssey oracle michelle um donated those to me so she's watching thank you thank you thank you they are gorgeous cards okay all right um beautiful and actually one more they said so okay we're getting all the rune cards today gotcha all right so right now with your um person pile one you have um the wet the waxing crescent moon so this is a combination deck of runes and moons and so it's set intentions and we also got standstill here Okay, so while your relationship right now may be in a bit of a standstill, standstill has to do with ice, okay? So this tells me that there might be a little bit of frigidity either right now or in the recent past, okay? Um, but it is a time for introspection. It is a time to balance your ego. And that introspection is your moment to, do, to set some intentions. Uh, we also got the rune of protection um protection and shield okay so pile one got this so if you were in between on the energies um you could check out pile one's reading as well so essentially um this relationship is protected i am getting the same message about what the protection is so there may have been a separation 
Uh, you may be in no contact because we're at a standstill. I feel like this has had some really stagnant energies. Um, but those stagnant energies are about to change because this relationship is very much protected in the higher realms. Both of y'all's teams are protecting this relationship. Okay, this may have been that because the energies were really high and there was a need to integrate, both of y'all separated for a time or created a uh, quarrel to separate so that you could integrate the energies, all right? This is okay. This is, this is moving through those defense mechanisms so that you can set your intentions, go through the introspection. What are you learning? Because the twin flame journey is always about you coming into alignment with yourself. This is learning together, okay? This is growing together. It is a rapid spiritual growth type of relationship. So a lot of things come forward at that in this style of relationship. So know that the relationship's protected. I feel like there is a little bit of anxiety for some of you because there may be no contact happening. So I'm feeling a good portion of you. It's like my stomach's getting a little bit jittery, uh, a little like breathing a little too high. You wanna breathe real deep into your belly, okay? Um, and slow it down. So that standstill is asking you to go slow to move fast, okay? You have to slow your nervous system down so that you can receive what you want. But what's coming is the sun, okay? This is self, uh, self-expression and embodying truth, okay? The sun card in the tarot is the sunshine after the storm. This is your desires is the best card in the deck it's your it's wishes fulfilled it's having the life that you wanted this is the rainbow this is the time after a stormy time okay so you guys are going to come back together and you are going to come back together in a beautiful way where you can embody your own truth and express it to your love without it being this um intense and uh, separation causing situation okay it does feel like you're going to um, come into union sooner than later i'm feeling like that's a um, this is a timeless reading but if you're watching it at the moment that it's being um, uploaded we are in airy season okay so that is the beginning of the year for the western astrology and there's a lot of life force energy and a lot of these twin flame relationships are coming together right now. So I just feel like it's divine timing. The channelings that I'm getting um, for my personal and collective uh, view is that it's time and, and these unions are coming together rapidly. Okay, so while there may be separation this moment, it feels like this is gaining momentum. Or if you've just come back together, you're learning how to embody your truth. You're learning how to express yourself so that you can come forward into this union um, protected and keeping your inner space uh, sacred and clean while being in union with the other. Okay, let's get some tarot and go deeper. We're going to look at the Light Seers tarot. For pile two. Okay. All right. Yeah. So I feel like from many of you, the majority of this one, you're in separation. So take what resonates, but it's coming through more than once here. Um, but that's about to change. <laughs> Beautiful. Okay. All right, so beautiful. So we have five of pentacles in the recent past. I do feel like you were abandoned and kind of um, locked out into the cold. Okay, your person may have had some player ways. We have knight of wands. They may have been an out passionate, you know, here for a good time, but not for a long time. They didn't allow this to fully form. And either you walked away or they walked away from you, okay? I, I feel like they walked away to um, either try out somebody new or because they were feeling a little overwhelmed um, with the scenario. 
but it was purposeful. I feel like you guys ignited the flame, you ignited the energy, and then it, very quickly they kind of walked away or disappeared. And so that has had you rather confused. Um, but that being said, they are about to enter back in. And they have an offer. Now they may offer something a little bit physical, but what they're wanting, this is the spark of creativity. This is the spark of new beginnings, okay? Aces have to do with new beginnings and the wands are passion. They are intuition. They are um, beautiful fire energy. So there's a, a re-sparking that's coming. And it's been after a time. Some of you may live at a distance from each other or be different cultures. So that's why there's been a delay. I feel like they, um, for many of you, not for all of you, but your person may have to travel to you, uh, more than likely across water to get to you, okay? Uh, so some of you may be actually far enough apart that you're in different countries, or like I live in Hawaii, so it would be like someone coming from the mainland or something, okay? So um, they're showing me that similarity there, all right? Um, but your person is recognizing you. They find you to be extremely magnetic extremely attractive they're they're what they're wanting is this ten of cups okay i feel like for the most of you you're the divine feminine because it's coming through us that they're coming through in the masculine energy and showing the feminine energy and though there's two queens here i feel like they're both you okay they see you as extremely attractive and also they find you super generous super loving good with your money this is capricorn energy and who do we have here this is um i'm not sure queen of wands so it's aries leo sag i feel like it's aries energy but you know anyway it goes they find you um fiery magnetic amazing and they're recognizing how generous and kind and valuable you've been. You have stuck to your goals and they want the Ten of Cups with you. They want to come forward and have this union, be this happy family, happy love. They have learned from their time separate from you. And this is both of you embodying your truth. So I feel like that's a beautiful energy because it's like the divine feminine side of both of you is balancing so you're magnetizing each other bottom of the deck we have six of wands okay really beautiful energy here this is about recognition so if you were attracted to pile one um, there's a lot of similarities to your all's readings okay so uh, you may just check to to see if that resonates as well because it's it's strongly similar um, but with this particular um group for pile two they're recognizing you they want harmony they want to move forward with you in love they want to move forward with you um in a beautiful way and what's really interesting is i went to shuffle the deck again and there was a two of pentacles from a different deck okay so they're balancing out so if they for those of you who they left and ended up with another person they're balancing their life out they're going to leave that other person um, to come to you and i don't feel like you'll actually even um, know about that it feels like a bit of a surprise how they're coming back to you um, what they're asking and it feels like they've matured and learned from their situation like they can see that that other energy doesn't fit in their system they want to be of the light okay um, and that was the mermaid tarot. So I feel like there may have been someone who was a bit of a siren or a mesmerizer that took them away from you. Um, I, I don't want to say away from you, but that they allured them. Okay. But it was part of their learning. And so, um, that has now been separated out. So energetically I put it with its correct deck and then we got the magician okay so your outcome is the magician you this is brand new beginnings both of you are magic both of you are manifesting each other in the physical world okay not only do they see you as magnetic and majestic and the magician energy okay this says 
they are manifesting you as well where i feel like previously like because they're showing me it didn't come up reverse but they're showing me in the reverse has to do with manipulation so where before you may have felt like they manipulated you because they left you on the cold or ghosted you or just didn't show up in the way that they should have like that i feel like they weren't as honest as they could be previously um but you're both recognizing that that was for your learning and you're both coming through with the outcome of the magician so you are absolutely magic together you're going to express and embody your truth and you are um magnetic you're manifesting each other okay really beautiful energy they told me to look at the bottom of the deck we have six of pentacles this is a gift from the universe you don't see this coming okay though you've been doing a great job of manifestation i feel like some of you have been doing your affirmations, subliminals, really focusing on yourself. Spirit's saying you're doing a really good job of balancing yourself, going through your spiritual progress. Um, I, but I feel like some of you have, because it's been such a standstill and stagnant energy, they're asking, like, I feel like you're going to be surprised when this person does come in with the offer that they're going to come in with, then they're going to recognize you for who and what you are knowing that you're different and they're going to express it out loud they're going to have the courage all right because this sun energy is like self-expression it's embodying the truth it's not telling the truth it's being the truth embodying it and i feel like um you're ready but not ready right so it's like <laughs> like you're not thinking that they're going to come through for you but they are going to come through for you so very excited about that keep doing what you're doing keep focusing on you keep setting your intentions because spirit's saying you're really on the right path so keep with the energy practices that you have at this time because it's going to serve you really really well and um you guys are to be together in the um physical world okay so i'm going to leave that there for you guys thank you so much oh they said not yet we have to get you a whispers of love card sorry about that <laughs> so one last advice from spirit <laughs> I love that spirit will correct me if I've uh, forgotten something. Or Okay, here we go. Oh, it says spiritual connection. A relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. Okay, so they, some of you out there may have had a question. Is this person my twin flame? I know I'm watching this, but I'm not sure. I don't think it's going to come together. Yes, you're right. You do have that spiritual connection. It does go beyond this lifetime you guys have been many lifetimes together learning and bringing it together and so this is a um, affirmation or a yes for those of you who have had that question about what is this relationship because sometimes we watch things and we're not really sure if that's the nature of the connection we just feel strong energy okay so now i'm going to leave it there for you thank you so much for liking sharing and subscribing for those of you who would like to enter the contest, it's easy to do, free to enter, free to win. Um, be a subscriber, so if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe, hit that bell button, like and share this video, and then in the comment section below, write spiritual connection, and that lets me know that you would like to enter the drawing. May 1st, I will do that drawing on video and announce the winner, and hopefully that is you. Okay, until next time, aloha. Aloha Pile 3, this is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your Twin Flame Tuesday. So this is a, um, a timeless reading, but I make these on Tuesdays. So um, it, we're going to look into your Twin Flame relationship, um, see what they're thinking, feeling, possible next actions. Just get some advice from Spirit and just leave it open to what Spirit wants to talk about. Okay, so before we get started, I want to say thank you. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you for hitting that bell button. All those things help my channel to grow and expand. As well as thank you for those who have donated. I'm working on some things for the channel to make some um, bedtime stories and affirmation and uh, guided meditation um, playlists. And so those will hopefully be uploaded in the next couple of weeks. But the do donations certainly help me to be able to focus my attention there. Um, as well as I am doing a contest for the month of, uh, what are we in? Um, <laughs> April. <laughs> um, 
free to enter, free to win. It's for a 30 minute session with me personally. Uh, that does value at $175. I will let you know at the end of the video how to enter that um, contest as some are here for the message and not for the contest. Um, those of you who want a private reading with me, I have a couple of different options listed in the description box below. If you would like, uh, if you don't need to have a live reading, if you'd rather have a, a video recorded reading with a private YouTube link, I have listed that option uh, for a reading that lasts about 30 minutes uh, and up to three questions. So that's a easy, affordable time, um, you know, time happy way to uh, connect with me. Or if you want a live personal reading and change work session, work on some subconscious change and energy alignment, that option's available below as well. So um, I just wanted to let you guys know what was available. And now let's get to it. Let's look at pile three. Okay. All right, pile three. I want to remind you that the twin flame is an energy. It's not a specific person. Eventually there's a specific person that goes the distance with you. But the energy of twin flame is to ignite you into um, unconditional love, universal love, and union with yourself first, okay? So um, these relationships, if you are staying with a toxic person or somebody who is abusive to you, that is not your twin flame, okay? Yes, does it bring up some triggers so that you can grow? Um, it is a relationship that has to do with exponential spiritual growth on the personal level first and then on the union level second, okay? But first and foremost, the twin flame relationship is here to get you balanced, you with you. Okay, so I just want to put that out there. There's lots of different thought forms around twin flame. It's gotten to be a very popular thing in the last few years. And there is a lot of different um, thought, we'll just say thought forms about it. Okay, so, um, so yeah. So let's look into your... Cards. So we have last quarter moon. These are the uh, runic odyssey oracle. These were donated by Michelle. If you're watching this, um, okay. <laughs> Sorry, my dog got real excited. She's getting a little antsy with the energy here. So we've got last quarter moon is release and let go. Okay. We also have the waning gibbous moon, which is introspection. And then we do have the. Um, or those are the moons, and then we have the rune of harvest, okay, which is accomplishment in a life cycle. Um, so harvest says that you will get what you want on earth, okay? You will have your twin flame union on earth, but it does um, signify a time period and time span of one year, okay? So just like when you plant a seed, you don't instantly have a harvest. So harvest says you're going to have your harvest. You're going to have what you want, okay? But it takes time to grow. And this is, um, you know, out of the runes, this is one that is a timing card, and it does suggest a year-long process. And so with this, I'm feeling like there has been, um, with this group, an attachment style um, to your twin flame where you feel because the energies are so intense and because there's been some back and forth and because there's so much passion but there's also a lot of triggers happening you haven't been wanting to let go this group is showing me there is because we also got the energy of Saturn okay so your person may be a Capricorn or have Aquarius placements both of those are ruled um, by Saturn Capricorn fully and Aquarius partially ruled by Saturn Okay, it's the feeling restricted, experiencing struggle, learn hard work and patience. Okay, so with this harvest, it's saying, yes, you are going to get what you want, um, but there's patience required. Okay, you can't go out to the field, plant the corn, and then go try to pull on the stalks to make it grow faster. It doesn't work like that. There are natural life cycles at play in your relationship at this time. So what Spirit's suggesting 
if you've because they're saying you've been holding on too tightly and I know that isn't what anyone wants to hear okay <laughs> but they're being very adamant that you will have what you want but you have to let go they're showing me Yoda all right you know um, part of the process is to let go of anything that you fear to lose that's relationships that's it's let go of the outcome because I feel like there is this destination um, mentality with this group where instead of being in the now and being present there's a bunch of anxiety I'm like you know <laughs> that's how I'm feeling and this anxiety puts you always into the future the what ifs what are the possibilities I need to lock this down which is indicative of a lack mentality it's indicative of feeling like you're going to be rejected or abandoned or if we don't get this together right this instant it's never going to happen it's basically saying i don't trust the universe to give me what i want right where if you're in the now and you let things grow from a natural cycle that's telling the universe oh i understand nature I understand that when I plant a seed that regardless of how raw and potent the energy is and how intense the energy is, that's needed for it to grow. You know, it's like when you make a baby and you don't instantly have the baby. It takes, you know, for humans, it takes nine months before you give birth to that baby. And if you give birth a little too early, there's often complications. Okay, so they're showing like look at your relationship like it's in the womb all right and so you let go it's like if you're if you're um incubating a baby in your womb you don't say hurry up baby it's time to get out right now you know like in in month two <laughs> you know uh we gotta do this so it's like it's um they're saying it's necessary for you to look at natural cycles to release the struggle you're struggling for struggle's sake and there's no need for it it's like if you let go then your person it can grow and you can have your harvest but it is about looking at that introspection what they're saying is um for many of you you know that introspection and meditation will bring you to some answers of why you feel like you have to hold on so tightly why you feel like you're grasping for this person why you feel like um, you could be abandoned or you know a lot of times with that introspection it's coming from childhood so some of you what spirit's saying some of you may have had an absent parent or someone who didn't show up for you or your last relationship you thought was going to be the one and they uh, really knocked your confidence and that's okay we're all there at different times I'm there often but what they're saying is to let go and let God whatever whatever God source uh, the energy that's more than you take over because you're um, yeah you're presenting yourself in an energy of lack and it's coming through as desperate it's coming through as clingy and that's not who you are i can see your souls you're typically very confident people but in this particular situation it's rocked your world because the energy is rather intense and so they're saying go to introspection you have some things up that need to be purged right now we have the hanged man which says they're stuck in stagnant energy but the beauty of the hanged man is that they hang themselves upside down on purpose in order to take a new perspective this is the introspection this is you letting go okay and turning your perception upside down and i want to name off these runes to you because we are doing this rune journey so it starts with constraint okay it's, it's constraint disruption separation which you may have already experienced that or you're needing to separate from an attitude or clinging too tightly to your person then we have journey we have initiation gateway the self so you're coming back to yourself and then the next two are breakthrough and then partnership okay so if you would turn yourself around and go on this journey from constraint in to partnership 
But there's separation that's involved. You'll go through the journey. You'll go through the initiation. Then you'll go through the gateway to yourself. That's the introspection. And in that introspection over these course of the next few months, you're going to have the breakthrough that leads you to partnership. And I want to tell you that your person's mastering themselves as well. We have the King of Swords. King of Swords is the King of Spades in the Destiny cards, which is the master of themselves and their environment. So both of you, this is the divine masculine side of your relationship and the side of yourself is coming into mastery. How you do that is through the introspection. This is both intelligence, intuition, and spirituality. The swords are about how you think. You're mastering your thoughts um, so that you can really evaluate what you want, okay? This is the harvest again. You've planted some seeds. There's some time until those seeds grow. But you are planting seeds that are going to grow a harvest. So even though it's little right now, this is going to be a big tree. Look at all of the, that energy that's coming into that. Spiritually, you have planted the seeds. Physically, you've planted the seeds. They're wanting you to grow into your confidence. The Queen of Pentacles is generous. They are kind. This is Capricorn energy. So you have Capricorn twice here with the Saturn energy as well. Okay, so some of you may be Capricorn dealing with a Capricorn or have it in your chart. But basically they're saying come into your power. Uh, focus on what you bring to the world, your value. This is um, exalted. Capricorns are very loving. They give their hearts, but they also take care. They know to value themselves and the energy that's flowing between is generous. Okay. We have some conflict here with this five of wands and we also have the five of cups and the seven of cups so give yourself some time to let go and do the introspection so that you can move through the confusion i feel like there's been some confusion you're feeling like if you let go that you're going to be somehow betrayed or abandoned or that it'll never come back to you but really you're being afforded the opportunity to let go of this tense energy to let go um, of what can i say well to let go of control pile three you know uh, what they're saying is like they're showing me the card in the star seed oracle about micromanaging the universe it feels like you're trying to micromanage everything right now and it's and it's affecting the relationship in a way that your person can't even get in um and come into union because there's so much struggle right five of wands though originally they want me to tell you the original meaning of this card was not about competition and conflict it was uh warriors training for battle and working as a team to train so that they were prepared for battle so they were prepared for what's coming next okay so this is saying no need to be in conflict or competition with yourself or anyone else just train for um this is showing me training your thoughts uh, this group i love you you guys are super intelligent you're super um intuitive but you have been sloppy in your thinking. You've let, um, how do I say this? You've let repetitive thoughts control you rather than you controlling your thoughts. And this is the opportunity right now for you to master that. This is why you've brought in this high level spiritual relationship so that you can let go of the micromanaging. You can let go of the looping thoughts and come into your power your power pile three it's important you are important okay uh they normally don't give me this like kind of this energy is coming through me like no you need to pay attention this is important you are important and the sooner that you let go of the struggle okay it's like when you let go of the struggle then you float okay we have hermit energy which also is talking about introspection so if you've been dealing with your twin flame currently 
which I feel like you have, but it's been a bit of a struggle. Um, there's going to be a time of separation and allow yourself to enjoy that. Allow yourself to go up the hill and learn from spirit, the hermit's Virgo energy. So you could have Virgo or Virgo in your chart. Who else do we have here? And then we have, um, oops, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy as well on the table as Pisces. Okay, so a few different signs they, that might mean something or it might not to you. Um, but they really want to be clear that it's time to start listening to spirit. Go into your meditation. Go into your sacred place with inside yourself. Okay, because that's going to calm your nervous system down. It's going to help you to get the insights from spirit. If you're trying to control everything, you cannot hear the messages from spirit. And your team is like all around you trying to get your attention and trying to guide you. Um, but you need to separate yourself from the tension. If you guys are in no contact already, this is like separating from thinking about your person and go into thinking about yourself. There's too much energy trying to be controlled um, towards your person. And you need earth time to allow this harvest to form but I'm going to tell you it's forming okay you're going to have your harvest ace of pentacles your person is going to come in as soon as you let go and you let spirit take the wheel because next up we have six of swords which indicates spirit is taking you out of the rocky time as soon as you do you're about to get an offer ace of pentacles is a small offer but it's a seed that grows. It's a seed that leads to long-term harvest, that year after year, you come back together with your person, that it's a long-lasting, um, you know, lifetime type of situation or for as long as you want to be with your, with your beloved, okay? But let spirit take you out of the choppy waters. You have to disengage from the the choppiness in order to get to spirit but when you do you've got empress energy here okay this is saying you're going to be seen as the empress we had the queen of pentacles this is saying you mature queen of pentacles is pre-empress energy you're going to be maturing to your highest emanation of yourself where you are in control of your thoughts you're not trying to, con you know that the universe is taking care of you because you know that your energy is fertile and ready for your desires, that you have allowed your harvest to incubate and now you'll claim it, okay? So you have a few steps to do right now, pile three, before you come back into union. So there's actually a letting go process that's happening right now, but it's because you'll actually get your harvest. If you continue in the way that you're doing right now, um, it slows down your harvest. So there will be more earth time that's needed. But if you take heed of what Spirit's saying, if you go inside and go into introspection and you go into yourself and you release and let go of the control or the need for the outcome to be right now, then you get your harvest, okay? really proud of you guys this is a big one this is a real big one but it's going to change your life um, and how you uh, communicate with yourself and with those around you it's going to um, release a lot of burdens off of you because like i said when you stop the struggle then you float okay so really proud of you guys I know that was a tougher one to hear and so if you're still with me I love you um, you've got this the beautiful silver lining is that you're going to get your harvest you're just going through the steps right now in order to have it and so keep with it get in there with spirit go inside yourself because it'll speed up your process okay so thank you guys so much 
loving, loving, loving you. Um, and then for those of you who would like to enter the contest, it's free to enter, free to win. Here's how you do it. You be a subscriber if you're not already, so subscribe and hit the bell button. Like and share this video, and then in the comment section below, put harvest, and that lets me know that you would like to enter the contest. Um, May 1st, I will do a drawing uh, announcing the winner, and hopefully that is you. All right, so hang in there. You've got this. Go inside, okay? Go inside yourself. You have this. You've got the harvest. All right. So until next time, aloha.